Soul Glory here. Welcome back to my channel. Glad to have you guys here with me today. Today is Wednesday, May 2nd, and I was tagged by a fellow YouTuber, sweet, sweet lady. I will link her down below so you can send her some love. Her name, channel name is Karen Deneen. Hi, Karen. I absolutely love her videos. She's got a way about the way she talks and the way she does her hauls that I find um, soothing and I find she got, has a great sense of humor. Uh, you should check out her latest Dollar Tree haul uh, where her intro is hilarious. <laughs> so like I said, I will link her down below, but she tagged me to do a, a video, a tag, <coughs> and I believe it was created by another YouTuber and her name is Mrs. V. But these are, but I was tagged by Karen Deneen. So let me go ahead and do this tag and answer these questions. The tag is called the last time tag. So in other words, when is the last time you did this or when is the last time you did that? That's how the questions go. And there are 15 of them. So let's go ahead and get started. The questions. Question number one is, when was the last time you changed your toothbrush? Uh, I change my toothbrush about every three to four weeks. That's just me. I don't know if there's a right or a wrong, you know, as far as how long to keep it. I know that the longer you keep it, the worse it is because it just gets bacteria and stuff on it so but about every three to four weeks so the last time for me was probably about two weeks ago so in another week or two I'll be coming up to do to change my toothbrush again number two the last time you lied or stretched the truth hmm I don't know. I don't lie or stretch the tr truth very often other to my other than to my husband. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Peter Gallery's home by the way. You'll hear him in the background having to get his two cents in every now and then. But it was probably, I don't know, today maybe. <laughs> I don't know. He could probably tell you better than I could, but yeah, if I ever stretched the truth or lied, and it really wouldn't be a big lie, if I ever stretched the truth with him and it would only be him, um, it wouldn't be anything really big or bad, you know what I mean? Like, it would be something so small as like, um, like if he said to me, uh, did you, how, how much did you spend at the Dollar Tree? Well, if it was 25, I might tell him 20. You know what I mean? Something like that. It's not a, a big thing. I just I don't make a habit of of lying or stretching the truth. So there you go. Only with him. Now and then. Maybe often. <laughs> Excuse me. Number three. The last time you got angry. Well, that would be today, because the Mister that is every now and then can really piss me off. Every now and then. But today was today was one of them. So, so that was today. All right, number four. The last time you cried, happy or sad tears. Uh, that would have been today. Today is Wednesday, and it would have been this morning when I got up. I turned on my phone. Yes, I'm one of those. I'm very bad about it. I can't help it. My phone is attached to my hip. Um, but bef I sit up in bed and before I even get up, I check my phone. I do. I sit on the edge of my bed and I check my phone. See if anybody messaged me, anything like that, any emails, videos that have come up, things like that. And this morning I turn on my phone and I saw that Lisa from Lisa Halls was live. So I poked my little head into her live chat and I saw I came in just around the time so I missed a good part of the beginning of her life already so I don't know you know by the title it was titled 
like she was going to talk about pocket letters. But when I clicked in, I clicked in at a time where she was crying. And she's going through a really difficult time right now. So for those who know Lisa's Hall, if you've not seen that video, if you could send her some love and support, um, I would truly appreciate it. And I'm sure she would truly appreciate it as well. But when I clicked in and saw that she was crying and then I listened for a while and I could feel her pain, I started to bawl. So thanks Lisa making me cry first thing in the morning. <laughs> just saying but I did because I could feel her pain I know what she's going through I can relate to a lot of what she's going through and it is difficult and it, it, it's it's hard it's yeah if you want to know more about it if she leaves that video up you can go out and check her channel out and check out that video and send her some love but that was the last time I cried was this morning all right, so where were we? Number five, the last time you felt sad or depressed. Oh, well, I, I suffer from depression, but not on a scale that some may be, but I do. When I have days that the pain gets to be a little too much, well, it makes me sad. It makes me sad. It makes me depressed because I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want you to touch me. I don't want you to even look at me because your eyeballs might hurt me. <laughs> so, and that was probably two or three days ago. Yeah. So there you go. Number six, when's the last time you had a really good time? Well, that would have been today, and that would have been on Saturday. Every Saturday is a good time for me when I take my mother out and we go out for lunch and we go out shopping. But every day that I can get up and rejoice in the day and be glad in it and that I woke up for another day and I get to go out with my husband is a really good time. So there's that. <coughs> Number seven. When's the last time you feared for your life? Feared for my life. I mean, that would have to be like really something really bad. And the only thing that comes to mind is, thank God, is many years ago, we've been married 38 years. So um, about 39 years ago or so, or 40 years ago, when I was married to my first husband, uh, Hence, that's why he was an ex. Um, I feared for my life. I really did. So, that's when the last time was. Uh, number eight. When's the last time you prayed for someone else? Well, that would have been today. I pray every day. I pray when I go to bed and I do a mass, a mass prayer for everybody. Um, and then when I get up in the morning, I thank God for another day and I pray again for that day and for everybody else to have a rejoice day, a beautiful day. So today, number nine, when's the last time you washed your hair? Well, that would have been this morning. See, it's not greasy. It's nice. Number 10, when's the last time you shaved any part of your, of your body? Uh, a day or two ago? Yeah. And it's gonna, I'm gonna have to get where I gotta shave again because now spring has sprung and gotta show them legs. <laughs> so all this time everybody was, you know, hiding behind pants. You know, you can't see the legs and yeah. <laughs> so I gotta do it again. So a couple of days ago. Number 11, when's the last time you spent money you know you shouldn't have? Well, that's almost every day. <laughs> so, but actually money I really shouldn't have would have probably been, I don't know. Every day you buy something, then you sometimes have buyer's remorse and you think, mm, did I really need that? So, I don't know, a couple of days ago maybe was the last time I bought something I really shouldn't have. Number 12, 
When's the last time you washed your car? Oh, hell no. That's manual labor. <laughs> he now, on the other hand, if he was doing the tag, he could tell you that was just yesterday that he had washed the Rogue and waxed it and cleaned the inside and everything. I mean, you know, the whole nine yards and did the wheels and sprayed them and everything. But that's him. This tag's about me. And uh, no, <laughs> I washed the car. Uh, number 13, when's the last time you did something nice for a stranger? Oh, let's see. That would have been, was it this Saturday that we dropped off? We dropped off a great big box of all kinds of stuff that I would, when I was clearing out that room, and I put a whole bunch of stuff in a box, and I told you in a previous video that I had taken it to the UAW and I had donated it to them. So, yeah, it was just, I think, Saturday, this past Saturday or something. <coughs> it was just a few days ago. So, let's see. Where are we up to? Um, number 14, when's the last time you apologized to someone and meant it. Um, was that yesterday that I apologized to you? <laughs> oh, today. So there you go. See? <laughs> there you go. And I meant it. And I did. I apologize. I'm a big person here. Literally, I'm a big person. But that's beside the point. But I the big person of where if I'm wrong I'm gonna tell you I'm wrong and I'm gonna apologize and so I apologize to, to, to him today you hear him no not me yeah no men it's like they can't say I'm I'm they can't say sorry it's yeah he can't say I'm wrong <laughs> they can't do it but I can, and that was today. All right, the last one, number 15. When was the last time you regretted doing or saying something? Oh, that would have been today. <laughs> Every day, I think, I think we all get up with good intentions and we try so hard, but you know, the day is long. So at some point we start off really good and then, you know, then we get a little sluggish. And then by the end of the day, we're dragging. And then we're coming home and we're ripping off clothes and getting our pajamas and yeah, and just want to relax and just, yeah. And shut out the world. And that would have been, so I think all of us every day that may happen to us at one point or another, whether it be at work, you, you know, you or or with family or with a friend but that was re when you regretted doing or saying something you know so yeah today I probably regret it and I don't remember what it would have been but I'm sure I probably regret it doing or saying something to my husband or to somebody I don't know I try not to just to anybody I mainly try it just to him so if I want to vent I'll take it out on him <laughs> all right guys I hope you enjoyed this tag I sure did thank you very much Karen for tagging me like I said guys I will check link her down below and thank you mrs. V for making this tag I truly appreciate it, it was a lot of fun and I'm not going to tag anybody in particular I tag all of you I would I would love to see a few of you do this um, so if you do, let me know um, so that I can watch your video. And um, I'm going to get off here, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Remember to always let go, let God. God bless you. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.